Hey YouTube, this is my Wilson Cloud Chamber. It works by creating an atmosphere supersaturated with alcohol vapor. When an ionizing particle passes through, it disturbs the vapor, forming a trail, which looks like a long streaky cloud. Here you can see a fog forming near the bottom of the chamber. The black plate is made of aluminum and is stacked on top of a number of thermoelectric coolers. Below the coolers are aluminum heat exchangers, which transfer the heat of the coolers to flowing water. The water is moved to a reservoir and then through a pair of radiators, which release the heat into the air. It takes about 5 minutes for the system to chill the aluminum plate down to minus 28 degrees Celsius. This is the critical temperature at which the cloud trails begin to form. Invented in 1911 by Charles Thompson Reese Wilson, the original cloud chamber produced its supersaturated atmosphere by rapidly dropping the pressure inside the chamber. This allowed the chamber to be repeatedly pulsed to make particle trails visible. Diffusion chambers like my own were developed by Alexander Langsdorf in 1936 and produced their supersaturated atmosphere by chilling the bottom surface of the chamber to very low temperatures. When an ionizing particle passes through the cold alcohol vapor, it knocks electrons off of gas molecules. The resulting ions act as nucleation points, where the alcohol vapor can condense into a cloud. The ionizing particles detected by the chamber can be created by radioactive decay of atoms, electrons released by static electricity, or by cosmic rays. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.